Fractional calculus is a branch of mathematical analysis that studies the possibility of taking real number powers or complex number powers of the differentiation operator and the integration operator J. In this context, the term powers refers to iterative application of a linear operator acting on a function, in some analogy to function composition acting on a variable, for example, f2, x, equals f, f, x. For example, one may ask the question of meaningfully interpreting as an analog of the functional square root for the differentiation operator, that is, an expression for some linear operator that when applied twice to any function will have the same effect as differentiation. More generally, one can look at the question of defining the linear functional for real number values of in such a way that when it takes an integer value, n, the usual power of n-fold differentiation is recovered for n greater than zero, and the ANTH power of j when n zero, there exists an operator p such that. Or to put it another way, the definition of Ni dx n can be extended to all real values of n. Let f, x, be a function defined for x greater than 0. Form the definite integral from 0 to x. Call this. Repeating this process gives. And this can be extended arbitrarily. The Cauchy formula for repeated integration, namely, leads in a straightforward way to a generalization for real n. Using the gamma function to remove the discrete nature of the factorial function gives us a natural candidate for fractional applications of the integral operator. This is in fact a well-defined operator. It is straightforward to show that the J operator satisfies. This relationship is called the semigroup property of fractional different integral operators. Unfortunately the comparable process for the derivative operator D is significantly more complex but it can be shown that d is neither commutative nor additive in general. Fractional derivative of a basic power function. Let us assume that f, x, is a monomial of the form. The first derivative is as usual. Repeating this gives the more general result that, which, after replacing the factorials with the gamma function, leads us to, for and, we obtain the half derivative of the function as, repeating this process yields, which is indeed the expected result of the negative integer power k, the gamma function is undefined and we have to use the following relation, for, this extension of the above differential operator need not be constrained only to real powers. For example, fifth derivative of fifth derivative yields the second derivative. Also notice that setting negative values for yields integrals for a general function f, x, and zero. 